Grain handler Grain Corp has reported a record profit for the last financial year but it comes as NSW farmers lose crops to heavy rain and flooding. Results from a NSW Farmers Association survey showed more than two-thirds of farmers said they were experiencing flooding for the second year in a row and many were struggling to recover from years of drought. It showed three-quarters of farmers had planted less than half their usual winter crop due to the wet weather. Association President Xavier Martin said flooding had an enormous impact on paddocks and roads, which would affect many farm businesses. Many farmers lost considerable equity during the drought years and the mouse plague, and while we had one Goldilocks year in 2020 for most valleys and made a profit and started to repay those debts, for many farmers 2021 and 2022 are turning into another year of big losses, Mr. Martin said. Record profit for Grain Corp. Meanwhile, the biggest grain handler on the East Coast, Grain Corp., has announced a record profit. Grain Corp. Chief Executive Robert Spurway said earnings were up more than 100% on last year. We've benefited from the second consecutive bumper crop on the East Coast, in a year of many challenges for others, Mr. Spurway said. The amount of grain handled increased from 34.4 million tons last financial year to 41.1 million tons this year. The company said demand for Australian grain had continued to be strong and the company's fats and oils businesses performed well due to high global demand for renewable fuel feedstock, including used cooking oil. Grain Corp announced a final dividend of 30 cents per share, leaving the company with a strong balance sheet, according to Mr. Spurway, with $177 million in cash on the books. Mr. Spurway said the outlook for the current season was not so good, with the floods in many parts of the East Coast delaying harvest by several weeks. We expect the flooding to impact on both yield and quality in parts of eastern Australia and we're CE.